Look at the butterfly bush. It's sprouting flowers. Yay! So I told you guys in another video a while back that um, we had, you know, a couple of big branches coming off. It was this big branch, and then we had another big one you can see right there. But something broke it. Um, so I was super sad about it and felt really discouraged. I don't have a green thumb, so so I'm, I always get really worried trying to start gardens. But this this gives me promise. This gives me hope. We have a lot of new leaves and branches sprouting up. We have beautiful flowers on the end. Um, it looks like up here we're starting to get some new blooms, which might turn into new branches. So I have a good feeling that maybe next summer it's going to come up pretty awesome. So exciting. Look at that. It's beautiful. So I don't know if you guys heard too, but um, monarch butterflies are getting close to being put on the endangered species list. So we're for sure, for sure going to try to help that. Um, more butterfly bushes will plant on the property next year. I'm going to put some milkweed all over the property. I'm going to highly research a bunch of other flowers and plants that they like, and I'm just going to put them everywhere. And we're going to make our yard be like a beautiful butterfly sanctuary and hummingbird sanctuary. So, yay! So speaking of flowers and plants, um, I have a friend of mine from work who was separating out all of her plants, her lilies. Oh, Mumble's out there somewhere. Hmm. Um, she was separating out all of her lilies. I think one of them was tiger lilies and I forgot which kind the other one was, but she separated some out this weekend and she brought me some to work. Um, and so we're going to try to get those planted somewhere on our property. It was so nice of her. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so let's go do that. We found him. He's out here with his girls wandering the, the middle area of the property. So yes, this has been happening. We've been letting them wander around more. They're doing great with it. Check on them every once in a while. She's right here, baby. <laughs> yeah, so super awesome. They've been loving that. You know what we can go check on? Those trees that we planted way over there on the property line. Look what we found. Milkweed. I think that's probably milkweed. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what they look like. Yeah, there's a little, uh, this bug right there. I don't know. I had no idea these were up here. So there's that. What is that type of bug? There's a few. I mean, there's oh, some over there. What's that one? Oh, I have no idea. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. Weird bugs. Anyways, so that's that's great. That's exciting. Yeah. Um, so we'll definitely be getting some more of those and planting those all over the place. But I'm very glad that we have some. Here's the tree. There it is. Yep, there's one of them. Look how big it's getting. And if you look behind you, Aria, there's one there. There's one there. They're getting real tall. And if you guys can see over there, there's a bunch of flooding on their property. And look at us over here. Dry! Woohoo! That's pretty great how big those are getting, but there's only like three of them. Um, and I think we planted like ten, so... Yeah, we done planted ten. Yeah, that's not very fun, but... um. I don't know, maybe if I dig through some of that, we'll find them in there. Maybe they're just kind of in that that whole overgrown area that's back there. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe we're just missing it, but. At least we have three. We have three that are going strong and they're right by each other, so that's gonna create a nice little beginner wall. Next year we'll get some more and we'll plant them in there. Yeah. And I'm gonna look into if that's milkweed or not. And um, that could be why we, we do see a few monarch butterflies around here. Um, not a lot, but a few sometimes. Um, I'll show you a video of that here. We actually saw some at Bella's birthday party. They were flying around. It was pretty cool. So anyways, we're going to plant the flowers now. Yeah, let's go. All right, here's the bag of plants she gave us. These are the big day lilies that you see everywhere, the big orange ones. And then these said were a different kind of lily, and I can't remember which kind they are. But I will look into that. I think the big ones will put up by the mailbox, and I'm not sure about those yet. These ones like more shade. These ones like more sun. So I'll have to find a good shady spot for them. All right, we gotta dig out first. This big old weed bush thing, whatever it is. <laughs> we'll dig that out and I think we'll do a bunch of lilies lining um, the front of the ditch. Every year we can split them and spread them out. Looking good, Aria. Yep. We got two plants there, so we're gonna pop one, two for now. And then we'll fill in the rest as the summers go on. Can I help water it? Get that butterfly bush water. good? How much? Yep. 
Great job. We're at Whistle Stop Park today. One of Boomer's new favorite places because we just recently started taking him into the dog park. Which was I Ari. to convince mom. Yes, it was Aria's idea. I didn't know how, how he would do. I was a little nervous about that. Yeah. We're, right now we're just walking over to the dog park. Yeah, we're taking this very pretty path that's around the pond. Yeah. You guys have seen this park many times. We it's brought, our favorite park. We brought Ravi here. I don't know where she is, but she's somewhere around here riding her skateboard. She's skateboarding, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, we brought Boomer to the dog park. Um, he's been there three times now, and he's been doing really great. Doing really well with the dogs. Um, yeah, just behaves super, super well. I'm proud of him. So it looks like the park has milkweed. I'm pretty sure this is milkweed before it flowers. I think those are the pods that hold the flowers, and those open up to be the milkweed that we have on our property, too. So I'm really happy to see that they have it here as well. Here's a doggy park. I love it because they have a spot for them to get a drink. So we don't have to bring stuff to the park. There's no dogs at the doggy park right now. So I think we'll come back later when it cools down a little bit. Um, yeah. And see if we have any friends. I was peacefully reading under a tree while the girls took Boomer for a walk and um, Aria came back and told me there's dogs in the dog park now. So we're gonna go see them. Yeah. Come on. Come on. So we didn't show much of Boomer at the dog park just because I don't like to film other people's dogs or other people without their permission. So that's why we just had a little bit of a snippet in there. But he has a great time there. He does really well with the dog, so super awesome. He's great very for him. Tired. Yeah, he gets very mm -hmm. tired. He's been like dead all day today from going there four days in a row. So great exercise for him, but we do need to give him a little break now. If you guys would like to join us in helping the Monarch Butterflies, you can actually send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Live Monarch Foundation. Um, for more information, you can check out their website, which is livemonarch.com, and we can put all that information in our description. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.